Oh, yeah, hey, give it up for Chris Grieco, everybody. Founder of Roast Battle Chicago, huh? Eh? There we go. You know, a lot of people say Chris doesn't book enough women. Uh, judging by that last battle, he actually booked one too many. <laughs> uh, that was awesome. Yeah, no, I run Roast Battle. Uh, Matthew runs from black people every time he sees them, so that's pretty great. <laughs> No, I love Matthew very much. Matthew's one of my oldest friends at comedy. He's great. I like that he took time away from going to the zoo, petting the rabbits too hard to be here. Again, one of my oldest friends. I love him so much. And I gotta say, bud, you're looking fucking good recently, man. Take your hat off. Show him how good you're looking. Look how great. He has not looked this good since he was glowing green and fighting the Ghostbusters. This is... I'm proud of you. Hey, thank you, buddy. I, uh, hey, you know, what can I say about Chris that isn't a slur for Italian-American? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Chris, he's a pretty respectable guy. You know, he started Roast Battle Chicago. He's an amazing artist. He has a beautiful relationship. I would really respect him if he was over uh, five foot eight. <laughs> uh, that fucking sucked. Yeah, was, I liked it. It was good. No, it was bad. I liked it. Dude. Just because we're friends, you don't have to do this I to me. Gonna, I, I thought it was good. Here's a secret. Matthew loves One Direction. Uh, <laughs> it's true. He loves One Direction. That One Direction specifically is South, where the N-word's still uh, acceptable down there. <laughs> he loves it. Tripped up at the end, too. We'll hey, it's okay, it. buddy. Right, we're doing our best. We're, we're following a fucking hurricane here. We'll figure this out. Don't you worry about it, pal. Well, Chris is a Chris Angel Funko Pop, so we're fucking figuring this out here. I, uh, you know, Chris also, he's an online game designer. Uh, you might know him from his most famous work, uh, Billie Eilish 18th Birthday Countdown Clock. <laughs> In, hey, in my defense, it was a bestseller because Matthew bought 10,000 copies on the first day. But mm -hmm. I love that. That's very good. Matthew's a very religious man. Uh, I don't know if you can tell by looking at him, but the only sin he tolerates is sin a bun, okay? <laughs> Dude, you like that one. I do like that one. He does like That's a pretty good one. Uh, yeah. he, be he believes that a woman uh, was first created by God out of a rack of ribs, actually. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you. you know, uh, Chris is a, a goth Italian. Uh, you don't see that a lot. Uh, he looks like he's gonna pursue up a school. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, fuck. I appreciate it. Fuck you. Taking shit from Andrew Tater Tots right now. Oh, what the fuck? God damn. What the fuck? <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is the first pair of shoes he's wearing without Velcro on them, by the way. Yeah. This fucking guy. Still no laces. I haven't figured out the bunnies. <laughs> Does he look like the guy that says hot dog every time he sees a pair of tits? Yeah. Isn't that... That's exactly his face. Dude, I... <laughs> Dude, I shaved my head. Now I look like the guy from Full Metal Jacket. <laughs> All right, I'm doing one more joke. Then yeah. I'm going to kill myself. Okay. But, um, <laughs> what's the matter? Uh, so... Chris's dad runs a, runs a hot dog stand on the west side of Chicago. Yeah. They call him Chef Boy Are These Black Guys Getting On My Nerves. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. That's so stupid. All right, I'll do one more. I'll get it. He has to actually fuck. He's got to leave. Sorry, I'm fucking choking off after the last battle. It was beautiful. But, um, no. <laughs> fuck it. No, he's got to get out of here because he's got to sell uh, Cal Rittenhouse some more body armor. So we got to get him going, but... Yes. No, it's true. Uh, Matthew, actually, he recently went through a breakup. He broke up with his ex-girlfriend because she was uh, bisexual, and he is against that morally. <laughs> Which, you know, I mean, this is a man who sees a pair of just hot women making out and gets angry at them. <laughs> Ironically making him the gayest bitch I've ever met. <laughs> all right, that's it. That's all right. There we go. Yes, give it up for Chris and Matthew Hugo. <laughs> oh, my God. Two of my absolute favorites. Um, give it up for them also. They actually filled in for a dropped roast battle. So give it up for them. That, that, it was a very last minute thing. It was so much fun. Let's turn it to the panel. Uh, Riley, uh, oh, you're, Riley, you're pointing. Okay, ha Harry. <laughs> Harry gets to go first. Uh, I, I like to say that I have seen this pop punk band before. <laughs> And I want you two to know that those DMs you sent to those teenage girls were unacceptable. <laughs> Truly horrendous. Uh, I, um, every time Matthew made an Italian joke, I cackled. Uh, like, there was like four incredible Italian jokes, which is uh, statistically the funniest kind of joke you can make. So I'm going with Matthew. All right, one for Matthew Mitchell. Okay, apparently. Yeah, I think I lost. <laughs> I don't know what that normally means, but usually when they, they give it to me and two people clap, the other people aren't voting for me. 
Kevin Kellum. Well, Matthew, there was that one point where you said a joke and you're like, ah, shit, that didn't go well. <laughs> like, let me be like after it. Yeah, it's called self awareness. Oh, there we go. I'd recommend you try some. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, but I, I absolutely loved when you called him Chef Boyardee. <laughs> I was like, he's a black guy. I was on the fence. It was like neck and neck, and that last joke got me. So I'm going to go with Matthew on it. All right, two for Matthew. Matthew. All right, Fujiko. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Thank you. They're, they're roasting me. Um, anyway. <laughs> Nothing on that. They're clearly in love, and I love that like, you guys have a great chemistry, and I could clearly tell who's the pitcher and the catcher. <laughs> and my vote is go into the catcher, Matthew Mitchell. Wow. Matthew Mitchell is our winner. Give it up for Manny Mitch. Final thoughts, Riley Cosgrove. Final thoughts. Um, one of you I want to have sex with, and the other one is Matthew Mitchell. So... <laughs> oh, my God. Riley has tried to rape me so oh my many God. times, dude. Another day scot-free in this business for Matthew. Yeah. Matthew, our um, real winner. <laughs> I literally agree. Like, it was neck and neck, and then Chef Boyard, that was fucking hysterical. So, congrats, Matthew Mitchell, you fucking asshole. Good job, fellas. All right. Mitchell. Matthew Mitchell, successful. Successful tonight. You and Chris Grieco, hell of a battle. You, there was a battle before you guys that didn't go exactly the way we would intend. All right, but you try that. So you guys had a little bit more pressure on you just to deliver for the show, and you guys absolutely delivered. Matthew Mitchell, you have you the most booked comedian that we've ever utilized on Roast Battle. That is quite the record. You have one of the best records. By the way, you guys can see the foot official rankings at rblchicago.com. How does it feel, though? Uh, you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the guy who books the show, and you, you came out the winner. Hey, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it. I love Chris. He's one of my closest friends. I've been, like... Really, the only reason that I ever like got to do the show is because I was friends with him before he started it, and he let me do spots. Uh, I think the reason you could do the show is because you're fucking good at the show, oh, by the yeah, way. Yeah. Thank you, I appreciate it. But that's not how it works in Chicago. Sometimes there's people who are good; they don't get to do stuff. It's yeah, that's that's how it works. Uh, but yeah, I was excited, and then uh, yeah, also 20th win tonight, so I'm really excited. 20 about wins, that. 20 wins. That's the most. That is the most wins in Chicago currently. The most wins. What was your favorite joke that Chris said about you tonight? That's a great question. Uh, that, I, the, the, uh, the one he did at the end with the, the bisexual girlfriend one was very funny. Because that's like a debate that we had in person together. So it was like fun to see it pop up. and him. Yeah. I love when fr I was saying this because my favorite battle tonight were the people that were friends that really riffed with each other. And then they got really playful and they were throwing the ball around. I could tell that you and Chris were doing that quite a bit. What else you got going on? Because I know a lot of people see you a lot with roast battle. Where can they find your stuff? I know we might be losing you in another city soon, and I don't like hearing that. I don't like, we, come on, we're not, you, if you battle in another city, we still get the points, right? I, I never thought about that. If I move to New York and battle, the points are going to count for New York. No, they go to Stat Island, they go to Long Island. They go to <laughs> Roast Battle Long Island, exactly. I'll start Roast to, Battle Queens. Yeah, I'll start a fucking, like, a, a, a farm league for Roast Battle Chicago out in Jersey City. Uh, yeah, give me a follow on Instagram, Matthew M. Mitchell. Matthew spelled with one D. And then I got, like, stand-up clips, a couple of sketches I'm doing with my buddies. So, yeah. Hey, thanks for watching Roast Battle Chicago. If you guys want to subscribe to our channel, you get even more content, a bunch of it, hours of it for free. And you can hit that little like button down there, hit the subscribe right over here, and check out these videos right over here.